God, you like my electrical box back there? Cute. Such cute decor. God, I need to leave. This video is brought to you by my Stranger Things t-shirt. Oh, I, like how cool. Am I just a huge nerd? Yes. I seriously, I, I think this t-shirt is so cool. Uh, men's section of Target, if you're looking forward to. It's great. So I'm hoping you can see me well today and that the lighting is all right. I'm in natural lighting like usual. That's the dog. My mom got me when I was in the hospital. His name's Ozzy. Anywho, I'm gonna start with eyes today and just get going because why not? I forgot to wet my beauty blender. God, be right back. Okay, I'm back, that was annoying. But, does any, like literally I know this happens to everyone. You sit down to do your makeup, you look down at the sponge, it's dry, sitting there just waiting, waiting for water, and you're like, oh my God, so dramatic, okay. Uh, is this distracting? I'm gonna maybe zoom in just a So I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer here too, just because a lot of the times I feel like I'm far away in videos, and I do do my makeup far away in mirrors sometimes, but moving on. So I'm gonna prime my eyes with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Fair 04. I like this, it's not too shabby. I'm really moving the camera around a lot today, so I hope that doesn't bother you, but I'm just still trying to figure it out, so it's balanced on some things. So I'm gonna get into the Dose of Colors palette today. I believe it's the Friendcation one. Yeah, Friendcation by Desi and Katie. It's, first of all, the packaging is beautiful. And yes, I still have that plastic over the Dose of Colors thing because it's this rose gold thing and it's really nice. And I wanna keep it nice. Let me live. These are the colors inside the palette. I don't wanna blind you with the mirror, but absolutely stunning. I mean, like just, wow feel like you get the gist of it. There are 10 shades in the palette and uh, it's $55 online. That is not cheap. Makes that $5.5 for each shadow, which to me is a little expensive because I'm pretty sure in Anastasia palettes, given the price and the amount uh, of shades in the palette, they're like three. Uh, these are seem a little bit bigger. I don't know, you could try to do, you know, math it up and See which is most cost effective for you if you want. Uh, I do that sometimes just like for kicks and giggles on like skincare products and like just because I'm curious and I have time sometimes. Anyway, I have swatched it so that's why you see some of like the little finger marks. What is in my eye, really? Yikes. See this one coming I'm just, I'm just gonna start because it's so pretty and I really can't wait to use this shade. But the thing is with the back, it has the names on the back here and sometimes I'm like is this if you were looking at the palette when you open it or is it like this shade through here is the name do you know what I'm saying I believe it's that way like this through here is like this name is this shade instead of reading it and being like oh yeah this last one is this last one I don't feel like I need to explain that anymore so if what I think is right um, because I'm pretty sure kiss just a kiss, I was gonna say kiss a girl. Should have named it that. Uh, Cheens, no, Necessary is the one I'm gonna go in with first. So that's this shade right here. And I'm gonna just take a clean fluffy brush. This has no name, I'm not even really sure what it's for. Wow. Picked up a lot of product, which is great. And then I'm just gonna put it down more in the crease and then take it up a little higher. I am, this is so light and this is pretty. I feel like they named this shade necessary just cause like you need this in a palette. Like look at that, boom. Blend the edges out, wear this color only out, mascara, yeah. So again, same thing. That's pretty effortless. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy today just because I wanna do a look with this that I know that I would wear in the daytime and take it to night, potentially. The reflection on this is really throwing my camera off. This shade in particular over here, oh. I'm gonna put that on my lid. But before that, I'm gonna take this shade, which is churro, and throw it in my crease, this on my lid, 
And then I'm gonna go in with just a kiss, just a kiss, and like touch it on the center of my lid just because this, mm, mm, this is nice. And I've seen Katie specifically in her stories, she did that. And I was like, well, if she's gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. Now I'm gonna take this Morphe M330 and that Churro shade. Oh. This is like, a, this seems like a perfect warm brown. Just gives my eyes some depth and more shape to them. I made sure all these brushes were like uber clean. That way, I'm not getting any mixing with ColourPop shadows or whatever. Which, by the way, did ColourPop shadows increase in price? Because I swear they used to be like three bucks and now they're like four fifty. Which, you know, some people don't care about that, but yeah, I do. And I just think, am I missing something? Did I see something wrong? Did I look at the site at the wrong time? Like, why did they? Why? I sound really bent out of shape. Okay, boom. So easy. So pretty. All right. So here's where we're at. I'm just gonna do that. <clears throat> It's just the shadow, just, mm. This one, this one right here, it's called Try Me. Yeah, try me with this shadow. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild brush that's kind of, it's not super flat, but it's not that fluffy either. Um, and I'm just gonna swipe on this and see how it picks up. And then I'm gonna lay it on my lid and probably fill them up because I know that I like colors like this. God, that's pretty. Wow. Wow, 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 we wow. Oh yeah. I don't, I barely put any product on that. Do you see that? Huh? Okay. I look like a psychopath, but I don't care. Wow, one, one swipe. I packed a lot on the brush and there is a little bit of fallout, but honestly, at this time of makeup, fallout should not bother anyone. That's just my opinion. Actually, if, if it bothers you, then it bothers you, and I'm sorry that it bothers you, but that should not be a determining factor in how shadows perform. Just because if there is a lot of pigment on in a shadow, you pack it on your brush, put it on your brush, maybe it's, maybe it's your brush's fault. I don't know. Don't let that deter you from getting something. If someone's like, well, this has crazy fallout. If it has crazy fallout and it's like obscene and it's offensive, maybe. But you can always wipe away if you do your eyes first too. I'm going on a rant, but wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Bye -bye. yeah. Now the trick is how will the just kiss shadow lay on top of this? But that's this shadow right here. This one I just put on my lid. This is just a kiss. And I feel like it's more of like a lid topper. Maybe that was said at some time, I don't know. But I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna lightly press into this. I don't wanna go too crazy. Yeah, it does feel like more of a lid topper anyway. Ugh. And I'm just gonna press it on the center. Oh. Oh, that's nice. So see how it just adds like a little some some, And it's not totally masking the other color. It's just like enhancing it, I feel like. I hope my finger isn't sealing the product, but that's cool. Is that being accurately picked up? So you see what I'm saying? I mean, my blending is shat right now, but see how it just adds a little like dimension in the middle? Hmm? Wow. This over like a taupe, I feel like would be, ugh. I don't really like taupe looks typically. Uh, but this over that I think would be nice. Now I'm just gonna, because I'm curious, I'm gonna take a flat detailed brush and I'm gonna pack that on my brush and see what that looks like if it changes, like without a finger. I don't know if it's gonna... Still popping. I feel like I'm covering way too much of my lid now. I'm like bringing it out and stuff because I like this so much. I'm gonna like blend these together a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, I really like that. I even like a little bit that it's like falling in the corner here. That's just kind of, I don't know, I like that vibe. I'm impressed, but what really is gonna be awesome is later seeing how the intensity lasted, um, seeing how these kind of played out. I seriously just lose the brush I was literally just using. So I'm gonna take this and just kind of blend the edges. I look like a hot mess. I'm not shocked, I knew I would like this palette. Uh, I'm not down with how expensive it is. I feel like if Anastasia you can do it for 40, whatever 
I don't know, what are your guys' like favorite high-end eyeshadow palettes? All right, now I'm gonna take that necessary shade that I use, first of all, all over that just like brown. I'm gonna run it on my lower lash line just to about here. Really light, I keep my lower lash line kind of messy. So you can see the little flecks of glitter. I don't like it, it's fine. My face is really red because I went outside yesterday and <laughs> that's, that happens. So I'm going to go back into Try Me and use it just on the outer corner right here just to kind of tie the top and bottom together. Doesn't matter if it goes a little lower. I'm gonna take that uh, Just a Kiss shade and I'm gonna put it right in the center of my lower lash line. Like, boop, lightly, super lightly. It's not wanting to do much down there, but. Gotta look ghastly because my eyes are done with this eyeshadow and I'm pale. I know that I will use all these shadows. This sparkly dark shade, let me just swatch this because this was like, whoa. This shade, game over. Is like a shiny black with a bunch of silver glitter in it. Like, that is so pretty. I'm gonna also swatch this uh, blue one above it because I don't claim to be great at swatches. I mean, come on, those are so cool. I don't know if I would, I would not wear, maybe I would, but I don't know if I'd wear these two during the day, but definitely in night looks. And here's that dirty money shade. Yup. So these three are the ones I didn't use. Well, I didn't use a couple of other mattes, but these are the metallic ones I didn't use. Those are really nice. Especially this one back here, that Dirty Money shade. I would use that as a lid color in the daytime. For eyeliner, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use like a liquid brown liner because I have been into brown liner lately. I just feel like it looks really nice and it's not as intense. I'm gonna take a flat angled brush, just kinda make a little wing, like so. Now, will we get them even? Dun, dun, dun. Flat angled brushes, if you struggle with liquid liner, especially ones that come in pots or tubes, these are great. Cause you can kinda like do, match the angle that you're looking at over here and kinda stamp it a little bit, like, like that. A little uneven, but it's okay. Went a little too high right here, but my right eyeliner always looks 10 times better than my left. Truly. <sighs> kind of want to keep it there with eyeliner. I'm going to keep messing with it. It's going to end up out here and out here and uh, yeah. I'm going to go do mascara off camera and I'm using the Tarte's Life Camera Lashes. Stuff's bomb. If you haven't tried it, you should. It's great. I even feel like it like conditions and actually helps my lashes like stay healthy. That could just be a placebo effect, a gazebo effect, if you get that reference. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and obviously finished the rest of my makeup just because, I don't know, this isn't really about doing the rest of my makeup. I really wanted to focus on this palette, so uh, yeah. I did add quite a bit more um, of that Just a Kiss and the Try Me shade together in the inner corner, uh, and then I added it along my lower lash line too. So when my eyes are just relaxed and facing forward, when my eyes open, my lid sometimes tends to transfer. I can see that a little bit with the Just a Kiss shade, but I really don't care because it's so like, it has that like sheen to it with the glitter that I just don't feel like that really matters. Um, if you wanted like a glitter that stayed like stuck, I would probably use one of the like the Stila ones. Um, those don't transfer up on me as much, if at all. But yeah, this is the finished look and um, I would, I'm literally going out to do things in it's the morning. So I've got to go out and wear this during the whole day. Um, so yeah, I actually just paired it with a nude lip because, uh, I don't know, it keeps a little softer and I know sometimes my eyes can look a little um, grungier. So this just keeps it a little, no. I'm gonna probably blend my face some more before running out the door. But yeah, I really like this kind of look. I would add something darker like uh, my NYX Lip Lingerie in Delicate Lust. It's more of like a gray, darker gray kind of lip. I would probably change to this for nighttime if I was going out. Um, but I think a nude lip with this is kind of cute and my eyes are very 
I have a lot of shadow on them. I really enjoyed this palette. I think the quality is super nice and honestly as it should be if it's $55, it's just my opinion. The pans are bigger than, actually, let me see if they're as big as like the ColourPop ones. I thought these were bigger, but so yeah, those are about the same size. So yeah, I like this palette. I also really enjoy the, the mattes in here. So there are five mattes and five like not matte, whether they're um, satin or more of that like sheen glitter and the more intense ones. Um, so yeah, if you were wondering about that. I really feel like this could be a daily palette for me. I don't know if you feel the same, but this light color, this literally just this section of three right here. Stop bothering me. I feel like this section, just these three right here, could be daily look literally all the time. You got your light, like peachy shade. Mm, it's like not peachy. I would not call that peachy. But you have your light shade, your brown, and then that kind of transition lighter brown that just would be so nice. This like burgundy matte also looks really nice. It's kind of like a plummy burgundy mauve. Mauve. More of a mauve. Anywho. So yeah, I, I really like this. I will see how this last and kind of how it plays out obviously so yeah i don't think this is like crazy like um out of this world palette i just really like the combination of the colors in here i feel like they're really complimentary and adding that blue and that like like black not black shade that has that glitter in it i think that makes it more versatile what yeah i just think that makes this you know just a little more versatile and i like it it looks beautiful i don't know if i would necessarily travel with this and if i did i would honestly i, I kept the box this whole time and i would travel with it in the box because this is nice and it's like textured in a strange it's like fabric i don't know i don't know what's going on but it comes in this box that says friendcation desi x katie dose of colors really pretty it's like this rose gold type of thing happening i don't i'm really late about talking to this so honestly i don't think anyone cares to hear it but if you did and you wanted my take on it that's kind of it i will say one thing that i'm super peeved about i bought this palette under the impression that it was limited edition specifically when i went i actually bought this at ulta i didn't even know it was at ulta but when i went there there was either some like ad or like notification on my phone or something that was like buy friendcation now before it's gone forever and i was like oh desi i've watched for years and when i saw that i was like well that's a bummer i kind of want that palette so i went out and i bought it and then like literally the next week it was half off and I was like, oh, I don't know. It's like it's dumb stuff like that that literally it, it doesn't matter. But to me that was really annoying and I was under the impression that it was limited edition anyway. I don't know if that's correct or not, but it's just irritating when companies are, stop, God, shut up. What I'm getting at is that I think it's irritating when companies come out with a product and they're like, limited edition, limited quantity, da 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 da. And I know it's because of this consumerism type of society that we live in and people hear that and they're like, oh my God, I have to buy it right now. And if it runs out, then I'm not gonna have it. And say what you will about that and people and material things. And this, this is one of those things that I definitely fell for. I feel like I did. And that's not saying anything bad about uh, the girls, the women, nothing bad against them. Just as a company, I think that's shady. I think that's not fun and it's not nice and you're really just preying on the fact, like literally the weird anxiety that people get about missing out on that stuff. And you know, you can say it's just makeup and it's not a big deal, but to some people, you know, it matters. And I'm not gonna, I wasn't gonna lose any sleep if I didn't get the palette and my life would have gone on and I would have been totally fine. It's not like catastrophic. I'm not trying to like come for anybody or like start any drama. It's just like a thought that I had that I feel like is a uh, um, root. And I get hyping up limited edition things and that's cool. But if you make something limited edition and like it's, it's coming back, like six months after it's been stopped, that's also annoying. Do you think people don't notice that? One thing that I really respect though, and it's hilarious to me because he was so intense about it. I saw um, Mario was doing a masterclass and people in the crowd were yelling about to bring back the Mario palette um, with Anastasia. And he was very, very adamant about, that's it, it's not coming back, stop asking, it's gone. 
And I really respect that because it was truly, truly limited edition. And it really makes me believe that he just is standing by that and standing his ground and is like, if you didn't get it, you didn't get it. And that's it. Watch them re-release that like after I make this or, oh God, that would be just what I'm talking about. I think you know what I'm getting out with that. As always, thank you all for watching today. If you want to like, subscribe, comment, anything, share if people do that. Uh, it would really mean a lot to me. It helps me out as a channel and kind of gives me a gauge of where I'm at. Thanks either way and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!